Okay, oh, welcome back. Welcome to another video. Uh, I guess, like I told you guys, I'm gonna be reacting to Zenda Zone Zero. If you don't know what that is, that is another gacha game that's going to be releasing by Hoyoverse, aka MiHoYo. Since they're Hoyoverse now, they're making they're making a their their series of games. They have Honkai Impact. They got Honkai Third. They have a new Honkai coming out, Honkai Impact Star Rail, and then they also have Zen the Zone Zero, along with Genshin. So. Hoyo versus their games, there is usually they have solid games. I gotta say that they have solid games. No matter how you feel about Genshin and how they monetize the game and how the rates are, you cannot lie to yourself and say Genshin's a bad game. If if you're lying, if you're lying to yourself, bro. I, go, that's the wall. Hold on, I'm gonna need you to go that way, bro. That's the wall. But yeah, they make good games, so. I'm going to react to their video. I like the whole verse. I played Genshin Impact like crazy when it first dropped. So I'm looking forward to Zen the Zone Zero. I did see that it had a closed beta or closed alpha a while ago. I applied to that with two separate emails and I did not get in. When I tell you I was so angry that I did not get in. Because it wasn't just me trying to get in, it was my friend trying to get in too. We both applied and didn't get in. I'm pretty sure a lot of people didn't get in, but I I felt offended that I didn't get in, bro. Like I really wanted to try the game out because it looks good. So this is a new trailer. This is their uh Tokyo Game Show trailer. So this is the one I'm going to be reacting to. Hopefully it's something new like PGR. I meant, oh my god, PG, PGR, I meant Wuthering Waves, I hope it's something new like Wuthering Waves, their trailer was new, but here we go, here we go verse, move my mouth this time so it's not on the screen the whole time, like last time. I'm not gonna lie. It's early, but I gotta stop it just to say. Just outright noticing this. They have some fluid and smooth animations right now. Like, these are clean animations. Like, there's no stuttering. Everything, you, f you feel the 60 frames a second. Or the 90 or 120, but it, it, it feels smooth. Really smooth watching this. <laughs> I will say the facial expressions look nice. Like they, okay, I'll, I'll move this desk closer. You're gonna see a spaceship. But the, the eyes and like the facial expressions, they look pretty good. For an anime game and how they're all 3D, it looks pretty good. Those little things are cute as hell, bro. I'm, hey. Hey, I, I can't lie. Those little things are cute as hell, bro. Just look at them, bro. Just look at them. You can, you can tell they really put, like, their heart into the animation for this trailer. Hey, it really looks good. いいよね。けど今月は僕が、じゃなくて、お客さんがドキュメンタリーを見たいって言ってたし、元のプランでいいんじゃないかな。ああ、そうやってお店のお金を自分の趣味に。さて、何のことやら。Hold on.
Hold on. I swear I heard that voice actor from somewhere. I've heard him from somewhere. Hold on. Nah, bro. The voice actor sounds like Kirito. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think that voice actor is Kirito. I, yo, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I think so. Nah, nah, let's go back. Let's go back. Listen to it. Listen to it. Tell me it's not. さて、何のことやら。けど今月は僕が、じゃなくて、お客さんがドキュメンタリーを見たいって言ってたし、元のプランでいいんじゃないかな。いや、ブロサンサイキリトブロ。He yeah, sounds like Kirito, bro. He sounds like Kirito. And just stating now, this is 18 minutes long. I'm not going to react to the whole 18 minutes. It doesn't... I don't think the whole 18 minutes are pure combat. So, it's not like Wuthering Waves where it was like straight out. Get to the point. Bang, boom, bam. This, I'm going to like section it off and not do the whole thing. So, you'll see me skipping throughout the video. And she sounds like the voice actor from... Nagatoro. She sounds like Nagatoro a little bit. Take it back. He might not sound like Kirito. I'm trying to figure out who he sounds like. Oh, oh this gives me... What, what, what was it? Persona? Persona 4? This gives me Persona vibes. Like the environment, the UI, the way he walked up. Alright, good to see that the animation looks smooth throughout. It doesn't look like it's just in uh, the trailer when it was talking. The little cutscene. But it looks like I am going to be sad that a lot of these NPCs might not be voice acted. Judging by what we see here. It might be a lot of text and that seems like it might be a lot of skips for me. But overall, I love the aesthetic of the game. Oh, she's a robot? Like, 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 just stop and look, bro. The art is freaking amazing. You got this. You have this. Look at the art. The art just looks straight fire. You see the posters on the wall? Tipsy Muse. Tipsy Muse. That demon chick right over there. It looks like she might be a playable character. Who else? Yeah. It looks it look clean. The art really looks nice. It looks unique. It looks stylistic. Oh, you could pet the cat, see? This is what game development is about, bro. You evolve so you could pet cats, bro. If you cannot pet a cat in the game, if you can't pet a dog in the game, the developer has failed that game, bro. I'm sorry. I, I, I have to say it, bro. I have to say it. So you go around town, you accept missions. But let's stop and just listen for a second. Bro, that soundtrack really sounds good, bro. Like, like I said, me Persona 4 vibes. Like, the the music in the background is banger. I don't even know what song it is. It just sounds good. 
Let me take out the, the closed caption as it's getting in the way. This mall walking around talking to NPCs, NPCs. Uh, I am going to skip towards the combat or just before the combat because yeah, it's just a lot of walking around and talking. Just look at the models though they look so clean clean as hell i see this is a thing like if you haven't noticed already from the goddamn little tiny sword replica in the background and uh, the demon slayer sword from before like I'm a, I'm a fan of anime so when i see something like uh anime related I'll, i'm gonna look at it i'm gonna be attracted towards it and i'm gonna check it out so just looking at this and like just looking at the character designs and stuff like that it looks type unique and it looks really good. Everything looks fluid and smooth, even though we haven't gotten to combat yet. That's his sister. So that's that's basically his sister. He's like, I'm not just your sister, I'm a pro or some shit like that. I mean or something like that. I really want to be Lin's student or something like that. Look at clean, look at clean. See this I feel like gotcha games they're doing this thing where they're they're slowly realizing what people really want in combat and it's really becoming really nice like going back to that little dash you did it's slow time for a second slow time for a second went into a combo state where let's see This ain't an analysis, it's just looking at it, but it looks like freaking you could select either your first unit or your third unit. It looks like you have three units to a team and you could select them when you go into this type of state. And that looks really smooth because as soon as he selects it, boom, and he could do it again. That, that looks clean, really clean. Yeah. They're going from Genshin. They're copying the usual format where if you use a special, you are entering a, a beautiful cutscene where you do it up close with the character and then they do their move. Like that from Genshin in itself, that, it looks good. Like, you love to have that. And then you have more of the art in the background. <laughs> nice art, superhero. Freaking. And it looks like the map is zone-based. I think this game may be instance-based. It's not going to be open world like a Genshin Impact tower of fantasy wuthering waves it's going to be more zone based it looks like more like a honkai impact because honkai is zone based instance based not zone based looks nice the combat looks smooth
Yeah, it looks like minor NPCs won't be voice acted. It'll be uh, just text, which isn't a bad thing. But for me, I, yeah, I will be skipping the reading unless it's something like crucial. Ooh, just look at that. Yo, just watching that, I'm like, dang, bro. <laughs> I like it. The theme of these games is that I want to play them. If, if you haven't known, I want to play these games, bro. Like, that in itself, I I could feel myself playing this and doing that, bro. And it it looks so smooth, and I could tell that it's going to be smooth when, it, when I get the game in my hands. Like, without a doubt. Again, me. Oh, like I said, that music, bro. The music in the background is clean. NPC talk. Is it more talking? Yes, more talking, more talking. Yeah, this video may be shorter than Wuthering Wiz because it looks like this. They're showcasing a lot. The game looks nice. It looks smooth. The combat looks smooth. But it looks like a lot of their showcase is dialogue. In just the world, the environment, and the NPCs. So I am going to skip to more combat because I want to see more characters. And I would like to think you guys will want to see more characters too. Like, we know how dialogue works. We know what letters look like. Even even Japanese letters. Not there. Yeah, I am skipping towards the the combat. So it's like this. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'll take that back real quick. Show the new character. Oh, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Run that back. Hold on. You heard that bass drop? That B? Hold on. Turn that up. What? Turn that up. Hold on. That's, ew, that's clean, bro. Like I said, like I said in Wuthering Waves, bro, music elevates a game, bro. It elevates the combat, and that music is clean. And the voice acting in this game is fire. Like, her voice sounds perfect for the character. And whoever she's talking to, I can already imagine what he looks like. <laughs> Was it the bear? Clean. Oh, 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 man. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. That wasn't Nihongo, bro. That wasn't Jozu. Hold on. That was English. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to rewind that back. 
It sounds clean, what? Ah, it's clean. The music is clean, bro. The music is clean right there. Boss, you gotta do something now or later. Did he take damage or no? Nah, okay, okay. Looks like she's raising, hitting him to raise his stun gauge. Is that it? Yeah, so she could do extra 200% damage. Hey. Oh. Huh? Don't tell me it's a coincidence that this dude has a drill. That this dude has a drill. And he looks like Simone's brother. If you don't, say, if you say they're not brothers, bro, I'm gonna have to fight you. This man looks like Simone's brother. Bro, got the Simone's brother vibe. Hold on, he's holding the drill. Tell me this ain't no homage. Tell, tell me. Team combo? Oh, okay. I see, I see. Was, that wasn't the boss? That was a boss. Oh yeah, smooth animation. It really looks nice. I swear, I think that really might be Kirito's voice acting. Oh, 
今回の資格記録じゃないかダメ実はベースドキュメンタリー風ブレブレのカメラはフェリーがいい感じにね波がありスリルありの超大作そうだこれ店に並べようよそうしたらキャッカダメだうんうん So let's go back. Let's look at one more thing. One thing that we really have to really look at. If you have not noticed, these are controller commands. This is X, A, Y. This is place. What? No, this is Xbox. Oh, they playing this on the Xbox? This is where they messed up from the start. But it looks like this game is going to be coming out for console. I don't know if they're just using a. A Xbox controller for the demo. I but I think just from this, because I don't think they would show this. They're really uh selective on what they show, especially in a showcase. So I think this game is going to be dropping for Xbox too. It might be dropping for consoles, consoles and PC at the same time. I could see that. Uh, because a lot of games are trying to do that. The cross-platform thing is the best to best thing to do for gaming right now. If you're making a game. And it's coming out. If it's not going cross platform, then you're losing out on a giant audience. So I could see that. I could see this game being cross platform.、Uh, and、uh, another thing, I don't, I think this boss fight was a lackluster compared to what we looked at with Wuthering Waves. This boss fight is highly lackluster. I would say I'm pretty sure later on it'll probably have better boss fights. This is just like the first boss you'll probably fight. This is probably the intro boss battle. Literally the first boss battle you ever face. So it could just be that. The game is, looks really flashy. It looks really cool. Like it looks really stylized. It really has that Persona 4 feel and Persona 5 feel. Like it, it really. Looks smooth, smooth like it, like the animations, the cutscene animations, the attack animations. And if you didn't notice while they're fighting, like this game is really vibrant, it's really smooth. The combat looks smooth, interactive. It doesn't, I want to say that it's not as smooth as Withering Waves. Because of that little、uh, function where it stops you for a set amount of time so you can switch to a ca character and do another combo. But I think that smoothness will depend on the player. If you're a really good player and you already have in your mind what you're going to do and where your characters are set up, you'll probably be able to go in there and not even pay attention to that option, or you'll be able to disable that option right out, or just get it all fast enough that it looks like it's not there. So you'll make the combat smoother. As you become more feel familiar with your characters and with your roto rotations, and which character you're using and which ca character you're planning on going into. So, I think along the lines of the combat, the combat's smooth, it's nice, it's interactive, it has that little dodge slow mo feature that a lot of、uh, gotcha games tend to be incorporating nowadays, and a lot of games in general are tending to be incorporating it because Batman has it, Spider Man has it. A lot of, I think God of War also had it. Like a lot of games that are coming out has this feature because it's like this feature feels so good as a player to like just come in contact with. You, it gives you the feeling that you actually did something and it shows the player that you actually succeeded in doing something successful. Like it, it gives the best feedback possible by hindering your enemies. But like I said, smooth combat, stylized, beautiful environment. Environment like just vibrant all around, great art, great sound, animations look beautiful. The voice acting is, I'm not gonna lie, the voice acting is A1. Like, the voice acting is really A1. The only downside I would say about the, the, the Tokyo Game Show trailer is that I'm not expecting it to be Wuthering Waves. I'm not expecting it, their combat to be crazy, outright, go insane, super, super, super fast paced. Nah, I expect the combat to be fast paced, fast paced, but I don't, I'm not expecting it to be wildering waves, fast paced. But I will say the game looks good. I am looking forward to it just because it's not wildering waves fast, don't mean I'm not going to play it because I played Tower of Fantasy. 
Tower of Fantasy is not Wuthering Waves fast. It's not PGR fast. But it is a dis decent speed of combat, and that all depends on how you play it. If you can increase the speed of combat yourself, and if you can please increase how you play and your skill set, and the way how you play basically changes how fast things work and how much you do, and basically just overall improves your combat based on your skill, then that's good, and that's something I always pay attention to. And this game is going to be what I pay attention to. It looks good. It looks clean, like I said. And it looks like, not going to lie, gotchas are really going down this path of really good games. Like, these games look good. They don't look trash. Like, they really look decent. Like, this game looks really good. And I really plan on playing this. And if you haven't noticed on this channel, like I said before, I, I like to play a lot of anime. I like to watch a lot of anime. I'm like, I got a god dang anime, anime replication, replicant sword right over here, man. It's a Chinese sword. This is anime inspired, bro. So when there's something anime, I will be checking out, especially if it's game, if it's a game. Like, I'm looking forward to a lot of games. I was disappointed that uh, Project BBQ got canceled. Like, I was highly, highly, highly disappointed. The fact that they decided to follow the wave of a certain type of game and just cancel the game outright, that, to me, was one of the busy, biggest disappointments when I heard about it. The only thing I'm looking forward to right now is Blue Protocol. And if Blue Protocol fails, then I'm looking forward to Zenless Zone Zero. And I'm looking forward to Wuthering Waves. And if those fail, then, bro, how come Gacha Gaming is becoming triple A and triple A games are becoming B tier? Tell me. Not even B tier, A tier. I'll give it that, at least. Bro, remember Godfall? Remember Godfall? If you don't remember Godfall, think about it. Go check out Godfall. Go YouTube Godfall. That was supposed to be a triple A game. Look at Anthem. That was supposed to be a triple A game. A lot of triple A games are coming to be disappointments, but little gotcha games, gotchas are getting better. That's the crazy thing. Like, I feel like a lot of these gotcha games can stand on their own two feet without even basically having a gotcha system. If they didn't have a gotcha system in these games and they replaced the gotcha system with a way to just unlock the characters outright, they would change the whole gaming scene. So many Western game studios would pick out the anime style and they would pick that up and run with it. And they would look at the combat. They would look at so many things in these gacha games and take from it. But I don't think that we're, do we're at that point yet. I don't think we're at that point where we're going to take from these things. I think the best games that have come out in the last five years have been God of War, Ghost of Tsushima. Uh, some of the Batman games, I haven't played from those. Spider-Man 2, the newest Spider-Man that came out. And the oldest Spider-Man. No, like Spider-Man 1 and Spider-Man 2, the newest ones that came out. And the one that's coming out. Like, they look really good. They look clean. The combat's smooth. But we still haven't gotten to a place where the God, like, gotcha game combat. Like, these gotcha games combat, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to. I A lot of people, this might be an unpopular opinion. But these gotcha games combats are better than spider-man combat and it's better than Sp batman Sp combat so tell me down in the comments tell me is it not better it, tell me debate with me is these, is these combats not better not taking into account that it's a gotcha and you have to pull for specific characters and that the fact that uh batman and spider-man games are single is mainly using one character you can still use one character and have great combat look at god of war god of war combat in my opinion is better than batman and spider-man combat it's up to par with the gacha game combat like you could put them side by side but that could just be my bias I i'm a big fan of god of war i played it since the first god of war but gacha game combat is getting better gacha games are getting better they're at a point where I believe if they took away the gotcha system, they could stand on their own two feet against these big AAA games, and that's not a good thing because 
if they start releasing these games and they're at a decent price, a lot of people will start picking them up. And if they start making them even more multiplayer integrated, like Tower of Fantasy, then it is going to be scary. It's going to be scary, scary, scary for a lot of Western games. But that's only if you're a fan of anime. So if you're a fan of anime like me and you like the anime aesthetic, you're going to go straight for it. But if you're more on the side of just Western games, World of Warcraft, uh, New World, stuff like that, then nah, you might look away from it. You're not going to touch it. But sooner or later, they always choose the anime side. Always choose the anime side. But yeah, that's just one man's take. Uh, thanks again. Thanks for dropping by. Thanks for checking out the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will catch you guys. Hold on. Not on the next video. The next video will be a Tower of Fantasy video. For all of you guys out there that's been wondering, how do I do more damage? I will be putting that in a video for you and I will try to be putting that in an entertaining way because I'm kind of go going to go a little, not even a little, I'm going to go really in depth on the combat, what the resistance are, how enemies are resistant to certain elements and how that whole thing works. Because I don't feel like anybody has done that yet. Everybody's been saying combat score, do this to get your combat score. Uh, I'll create your chips for your combat score. But what about doing damage? Doing damage is more than just combat score. You can have the highest combat score in the game, but if your damage is getting mitigated by 50%, and on top of that, you're doing 30% less damage, your damage is going down from whopping, doing 100% damage to an enemy to doing 80% damage to an enemy. So I'm going to go in depth about that in the next few days for you guys. So. Thanks for checking out the video. Thanks for listening to me ramble, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.